Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawada and in this lecture I am going to show you a solution of straight line problem and the problem is like this a line AB has its end A 30 mm in front of EP and 20 mm above HP the other end B is 45 mm in front of EP and 60 mm above HP the distance between end projectors is 70 mm draw its projections and determine the true length and apparent inclinations now for which the given data collection is going to be like this. The line AB has its end A 30 mm above 30 mm in front of VP and 20 mm above HP. Next, the locus of A dash is 20 mm above HP, locus of A is 30 mm in front of VP. And also the locus of B dash and B is given and also the distance between the projectors as 70 mm it is given. Next, to draw this one, one can use a line command with a thickness of 0.13 mm. Draw an xy line. Draw an xy line using a line command with a thickness of 0.13. One can draw the xy line. After drawing this xy line, let us draw four projectors, sorry, four locuses like this. Now two locuses are drawn above and another two locuses are drawn below the xy lines. After drawing these four locuses and there is no rule that the four length of these locus must be equal. If it is equal it will be easier to solve the problem henceforth we have done like that. Then make use of a distance between. The distance between command the distance between these two projectors must be 20 mm because 20 mm above HP and then the distance between these two projectors are supposed to be only 30 mm because it is given in the question as 30 mm. In the same fashion using the same distance between command with respect to this projectors and XY line that is locus and XY line is given as 60 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of VP. Now these two locuses have been drawn at the given distances. Then make use of uh, the text command uh, with the caps lock on. One can type it as capital X and capital Y since it is in a first quadrant. So VP here and HP here could be written like this. And after writing this VP, HP and XY line and then uh, one can use a line command with the thickness of 0.13. We know that this is the locus of A and this is the locus of A. This is A dash and A. Then draw a projector of A and in the same fashion from the locus of B dash to B draw one more projector. By drawing these two projectors it finishes the A dash B dash as well as AB. But the distance between these two projectors is given as 70 mm. Make use of a distance between command. The distance between these two lines must be equal to 70 mm. Set this value as 70 mm. Then say enter these two value must be 70 mm. Now after setting these two distances as 70 mm, now one can easily understand that this is the front and top use of a straight line. Directly we are going to get it. So this will be marked as A dash and oh, sorry. So let me go for the text command once again, text command once again and here let us mark it as A dash and this point as B dash. And in the same fashion, this point as A and this point as B. So once we get the required positions A and B, using a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeters, right away we will join the A dash to B dash as a dark line, and then end point A to end point B, which is nothing but the required top of a straight line. These two lines are the apparent lengths. Are nothing but the front view length as well as the top view length. Once we get these positions, we are supposed to complete the projections. Complete the projections means we are supposed to make the lines parallel to HPVP. Now let us consider this AB as the top view length. The top view length AB is going to be projected here to get the position of B2. Then once the B2 is position is finished, then sorry B1 is finished the B1 has to be projected till the B1 dash to get the B1 position. So here one can log the 
inclination as 90 degree to avoid any further confusions let me make this value as 90 degree and this is going to be the position of b1 dash then using a text command let us mark this point as b1 there is a new position and accordingly b1 dash then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.35 millimeter join a dash to b1 dash this is nothing but the required true length of a straight line then in the same true length should be obtained in the top view also for which again we go to the circle by center point sorry arc by center point with the uh, uh, line thickness as 0 0.13 get a dash as the center then b dash as the radius draw an arc from b dash to locus of a dash to get the position of b2 dash mark this point as b2 dash and the b2 dash will be projected here will be marked as b2 then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 join this b2 dash to the position of b2 and then change the line thickness to 0 0.35 mm join b2 to a which is nothing but our required true length in the top view now this completes the projections as per the given conditions and after completing these projections one has to measure the true length. What is the true length? The true length is nothing but using a smart dimension command, the distance of A dash B1 dash is measuring as 82.1 and also the distance of A B2 which is also measuring as 82.01. If it is not doing so, then our solution was wrong. Since both the distances measuring as 82.01 the solution is 100% correct. Then we have measured the true length. Then what we are supposed to measure it? We are supposed to measure the apparent inclination. What are the apparent inclination? Alpha and beta for which go to angle between command. Alpha and beta is nothing but A dash to B dash angle with respect to the XY line in the front view that is the apparent angle in the front view is measuring as 30 degree and in the same fashion the angle between AB to x y line is this value that is 12 degree then make use of the text command and write down all the values here the true length of a line true length of a line which is nothing but a dash b1 dash which is also equal to a b2 which is now which is measuring as 82.01 mm 82.01 mm and then uh, the angle alpha for which the type the letter A is equal to then uh, angle is measuring as 30 degree I'll paste the degree symbol I'll paste the degree symbol later okay I'll just uh, remove this because I've pasted it something else A is equal to 30 let me copy the degree symbol from the previous things then using this uh, degree symbol or I will just show you how to get the degree symbol over here I'll just make it as A is equal to 30 then B is equal to uh, 12 degree then how to get the degree symbols let me show you now along with the uh, text command we have a character map select the character map then search for symbol here in the symbol this is the degree symbol the moment you click on the degree symbol it is highlighted there select it it will come to this characters to copy and then click on copy the moment it is copied it has to be pasted here using control v key paste it now you can see that along with the degree symbol something else is coming just remove it and position the degree symbol over there at the required location once this is done the A and B are not alpha and beta symbols for which go to uh, the text style change it to symbol now one can say alpha and beta is equal to 30 and 20 degree and not but the least you have to make a note all dimensions are in mm anywhere in the sheet note all dimensions are in mm 
by this one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects now once again if you have any doubts to solve this problem please feel free to call at any point of time but make sure that the call should not be at the late nights thank you guys hope so you have enjoyed the video and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and share this videos to all first year engineering students thank you very much